Hi everyone, it's Patricia. Welcome to day five. Today is a nutrition break. So to give you a little bit of a rest from all that workout, you can make some nice uh, nu uh, nutritious snack. Today we're gonna make some kale chips. And all you'll need is a bunch of curly kale. And curly kale looks like this, so you can find several different types of kale out there. But this is the one that makes the best uh, chips. Uh, some olive oil, and I'm going to add some nutritional yeast. It looks like this. This looks like a bit of sawdust, but it adds a nice cheesy flavor to uh, the kale chips. You can add whatever you want to it, some sea salt, if that's all you want. Um, or some regular cheese, Parmesan cheese. Um, some people add uh, ranch dressing to it. Uh, but this is by far my favorite. And it's, it's uh, for all diets. So if you're following a vegan diet, uh, nutritional yeast is a great source of vitamin B12, something that a lot of vegans don't get in a plant-based diet. So it's great to add that uh, on to get those extra vitamins. It's also a, a high source of protein. Um, so yeah, so if you want to add that, you can. If not, it tastes good with just a little bit of salt and drizzle it with olive oil and really massage it into the leaves. But before we get to that point, I just want to explain to you how we de-stem. You want to wash the um, kale uh, very, very well. Uh, and then after you do that, dry it a little bit, but you want to peel off uh, the, the actual leafy portions from the hard stem part and just, I have one of these uh, salad spinners, which are great to dry the kale leaves up. And I just started peeling them off. And you just want to make sure that you just cut them, not too small, because they will shrink in the oven when you when you cook them. So what you're left with is this, the hard stem, and you could just throw that away. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna spin this up and get rid of all the liquid, make it as dry as you possibly can. Okay, so your kale uh, should be relatively dry. You don't want it to be too wet, or it's just gonna take a little bit longer uh, to dry up. So try to make it as dry as you possibly can. Just put it all in a bowl. Again, you could add your own uh, toppings to it. And you add a little bit of olive oil, just enough to wet the leaves and massa really massage it into uh, each leaf. Kale is a very nutritious uh, food. It's considered a superfood. It's very high in vitamin K, vitamin A, and a lot of uh, nutrients. It's a very high protein food too. So again, if you're what if you're following a plant-based diet, it's a good source of protein. Um, we have the nutritional yeast, and we're just going to you know I just I don't measure. I just add, make sure there that every leaf is coated because it just. It lends such a, a tasty uh, flavor to the to the uh, kale chips. It it almost tastes like cheese. A lot of vegans and vegetarians use it as a cheese substitute. Um, I'm not vegan myself, but uh, I love the way it tastes. And you get those extra B vitamins too. So the lower the temperature of the oven, again, I put it at a temperature of 200 degrees Fahrenheit, and it'll take probably 45 minutes. It, you know, you really have to keep your eye on it, so don't leave it in the oven and forget about it. Check on it every 20 minutes or so, shake it around. You wanna make sure that they're super dry. All right, so this is what it'll look like. All right. Okay, and then I'm just going to put, I have a, a pan here that I'm just going to put the kale in, and I'm gonna put it in the oven. All right, just lay them flat. Try not to overlap them too much. It's surprising how many kids enjoy the taste of kale chips too. I have a picky six-year-old that loves them. Just flatten them out here and look like this. And we're going to put them in the oven and check on them every 20 minutes or so. So you do want to keep it at a very low temperature. It's been about an hour and the kale chips are ready. I pulled them out of the oven. They have that nice crispy texture that we like in a potato chip. Thank you for joining us. See you tomorrow.